thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Ronald Naifo, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So if you went ahead and read the description bar, we're going to be talking about some Remo London for Rockalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lipstick. So we're going to go ahead and show you all the different colors that I have here. There we go. So I'm going to be swatching each of the colors one at a time. I went ahead and ordered colors that I know that I'm going to be using. They do have a larger variety of neutral based colors. So for those of you who love your nudes, you need to go ahead and gravitate towards this. So one side actually has a color and the other side has a lock and shine. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a nice burgundy color that we have right here. This is the color that I have on my lips. There we go. There's no lipstick transfer. And the first color that we have on here is actually called Kiss Fatal. So what you end up doing is being that it's a two step process. You have the option of just putting the base color on your lips, which actually dries to a matte. And the other side is actually a clear base. So if you want to go ahead and have a gloss that goes ahead and locks in the color, you go ahead and put that on there, which I use all the time. I just won't go ahead and just use the base color, but I'll go ahead and put the lock and shine on there. I think it's a win-win situation. So the first color that we have here is called Kiss Fatal. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you. I'll show you what it looks like as I'm swatching each of the colors. This one is absolutely gorgeous. There we go. That one is actually called a Kiss Fatal. Let's go ahead and let that dry. It's more of a burgundy base color. I love it. I actually found these at my local CVS where you buy one, get one half off. I already did a video on it before. I went ahead and found some other colors that were similar to this one here. And I just love this one here because it dries and it's actually non, a non-transferable type of uh, lipstick. So if I'm kissing Jim, we don't have to worry about getting lipstick on him. And it's actually a fabulous color and brand, Remo London. The next color that we have here is more like in a dark red color. This one is actually called Play With Fire. Let's go ahead and swatch that. It's a beautiful red brick color here. So for those of you who love your reds, this is absolutely stunning. If you want to go ahead and use the lock and shine, you have the lock and shine on the other side. There we go. And I'm telling you, this lipstick will just not budge. I actually got it for $6.99 and it was buy one, get one half off. So I think it was a great deal. I went ahead and picked up some extra colors to go ahead and maybe do in a future giveaway. So go ahead and look up for that. I love Remo London. Uh, Remo London is a very great drugstore and a very affordable brand. So this one is actually called Play With Fire, which is actually right there. Another gorgeous red. You know, this girl just loves a red. The next red color that we have here is actually called Berry Seductive. There we go. This one is more, uh, has a little bit more pink in there. We'll go ahead and swatch it right next to that one right there. And that's with, just with a single swatch. You can tell the difference. This one is more of a uh, darker red. This one has a little bit more pink in there. It's a very gorgeous color. And then I go over with the lock and shine and this is actually a very stunning color. This girl loves her reds. I'm not much into neutrals. If I have neutral colors, I will go ahead and gravitate towards um, some of my uh, neutral based, cream based lipsticks. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you some of the bolder colors. The bolder colors show up a lot better for me on camera. The next color that I have on here is just teasing. This one is more of a brick colored type of red. For those of you who love your kind of um, burgundy mauve, but a little more on the dark side. This one is actually gorgeous. There we go. Love, love, love. Great color. For those of you who love your brick colored type of uh, lipsticks, this one is absolutely stunning. This one is uh, called Just Teasing, right there. We have two more colors. This one, it has a little bit more of an orange tint to it, but it's, it's in the same range as reds, but you can tell the difference. This one is more of a blue base red. This one has a little bit more orange in there. It's a much brighter type of red. 
This one is actually called Heartbreaker. We're gonna go ahead and swatch that one. So for those of you who love your um, darker neutral lip, but it's not really a nude, but more on the brown side, I think this color will be excellent for you to go ahead and use. Again, if you want to go ahead and use the Lock and Shine, it's a dual-ended stick. I love to go ahead and carry this in my purse. It's like carrying a pen. I don't have to worry about carrying a big, chunky lipstick like this. This one is from Smashbox. This one can just go ahead and I can just stick this in with my writing utensils and just go ahead and carry this around. When I need to go ahead and touch up, I can go ahead and do so. The only time it will end up coming off is if you're eating food that has a little bit of oil in it. So if you're eating french fries or a hamburger or something like that then it'll end up uh, coming off like any other standard liquid lipstick but this one is absolutely stunning this one is actually gorgeous it's drying down to a matte and the color on this one here is heartbreaker the last color here is a bold pink color you know i, I always mentioned that i have a top like a fuchsia top this color this one is actually called 310 little minx I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. It is a gorgeous color. This is the second time I'm actually purchasing this uh, color here. There we go. Beautiful pink color. Very bright. For those of you who love your pinks, you're gonna end up loving that color. So it is a two-step process. Again, you go ahead and put the base color on first. Then you go ahead and put the lock and shine over. So being that my first color ended up drying, put some of there, you go ahead and put the lock and shine right over. It gives you more of a glossy kind of look. If you want to go ahead and put another coat on there, you can go ahead and do so. And that will end up just not giving it more of a glossy finish, but if you don't want it as matte, you go ahead and put the lock and shine over and it'll show up a little bit more glossy. So if you want to go in and let it dry, just on this one here that I went ahead and swatched second, uh, you'll get a little bit of a small transfer on there, but hardly anything. I can go ahead and rub it right there. And actually, I don't even get a transfer on it. So I hope you had fun as I went ahead and showed you the Remo London two-step process. They're lock and shine. You actually go ahead and put on the first layer. You go ahead and let it dry right there. You go ahead, and if you wanna go ahead and put the lock and shine, you can go ahead and do that. That kind of seals in your lips. But majority of the time, if I wanna just keep it to a matte, it'll end up drying like these here. I went ahead and put the lock and shine on the top, so it actually dried down to a gloss. The rest of them actually dried down to a matte. I would say the only downfall with this one here is that you probably need to go ahead and layer your lips twice. Like any other liquid lipstick, I never end up just putting just one layer on my lips. I will always end up putting two. So I love this brand because it's a drugstore. So when I'm running low on a color, I can just go ahead and run down to my local drugstore. And majority of the time, they'll have not just the current colors that they have, but some newer colors that have recently come out. The whole purpose of loving this lipstick is that it's not, it's, it does not transfer. So if I go ahead and just rub this one here, there we go. It does not go ahead and transfer off. If you want to go ahead and put the lock and shine, you have a little bit more of a shimmer on there. And so you have a gloss. This one is still a little bit on the tacky side, but it does not transfer. The only thing that actually went ahead and came off a little bit is a little bit of the clear gloss. But that for me is not a problem because if I give it a few more minutes, it'll actually end up drying. So I hope you had fun as I went ahead and shared with you some of my go-to colors for Remo London Provoca Lips two-step process with their lock and shine. So my name is Ronalyn Naipo. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on that notification bell and that'll keep you abreast on some of the videos that I go ahead and upload on a weekly basis. But what I want you to go ahead and do is I want you to go out there, be bold, be beautiful, don't forget to dress up, and all the way from Hila, Hawaii, my name is Ronalyn Naipo. Aloha! Bye-bye.